What's up, Anifex? Techman here. With me on the Galaxy Nexus, I'm going to be showing you how to install the official Jelly Bean 4.1.2. Yes, this was really, really recently released officially by Google. All the files used in the video are fresh off of Google's official servers, so there's no uh, problem with unofficial stuff. You're going to get full official, just like you would uh, get on an OTA update. Now, if you're on a stack um, firmware and, oh, I'm sorry about that, stack RAM, like as you can see right now, I'm on a custom RAM. I, I don't have stock recovery, that means I'm not going to be able to get over there update. So you can see everything is a lot different than um, a stock Galaxy Nexus. So if you're rooted on a stock recovery, or if you're on a clockwork mod recovery, if you're on a custom RAM, if you're on any of those, then you will not get over there update for 4.1.2 Jelly Bean on your Galaxy Nexus GSM. So I'm be showing you how to install it manually, but this will, this is the exact same uh, process that uh, Google would go through if it was over their update. Except, actually, this is a more thorough and a better update if you're gonna do, do better than over there because it gives you full installation, it wipes everything, and it will do a nice clean install. So let's head on to a computer. Oh, actually, first make sure you have USB debugging turned on. So go all the way down to Developer Preferences and Settings. And make sure USB debugging is turned on. Yours will look a little different because I'm a custom RAM. So just make sure it's turned on. As you can see, mine is. Yours should be check marked, a green check mark. So once you get that done, we're gonna head down to the computer. Just be aware this will delete everything on your Galaxy Nexus GSM. And make sure you only use this process for Galaxy Nexus GSM i9 250, not Verizon or Sprint. Only the international GSM i9 250. No other one or you will probably end up getting a lot of uh, connectivity issues with your um, carrier and uh, calling issues as well. So do not try it on Verizon or Sprint and so delete everything on your internal SD card. So that's your whole phone. So back up everything before you start this process. Okay, so the first thing we're going to be doing is just plugging our phone to our computer. So just plug it in via micro USB. So as you can see right here, I got it right here. Let's plug in via micro USB to your computer. And this is the Mac version. If you want to know how to do it on a Windows computer, you can look right there on how to do it on Windows. So just click the annotation, it'll bring you to the Windows version of this Galaxy Nexus Unroot slash stack 4.1.2 on your Galaxy Nexus GSM. So it's all plugged in and we have USB debugging already turned down. As you can see, we got a folder right here. Just open it up. You will have to unzip it. This is already unzipped, so just be aware of that. So let's open it up. Just click on the click me tool. And there you go. This is super easy, very, very easy to do for any type of experienced person. It's basically just one enter button and you're basically all done. So super easy to do. So as you can see, the script was made by Techmac9, which is me. Check out AndroidRoots.com. Yes, brand new site made by me. So check it out. Same great look, just a new URL. So it says continue, make sure USB debugging is on. We did that, so I'm just gonna press enter. And now it's gonna flash all the stock files directly from Google servers. Um, it is in the folder, but it was uh, extracted directly from Google servers. So as you can see, your phone did enter into uh, bootloader mode. So as you can see, it's doing its whole thing now. It's rebooting and doing um, its whole process. So keep an eye on your phone, you can see a lot of stuff. And now you can see the whole progress on your uh, computer screen. So this will take about five to 10 minutes depending on your speed of your cable and um, your computer as well. If you're using a slow computer as well. So um, I'll be back once it's done, but it will work 100% for sure. So I'll be back once it's done. Okay, now as you can see, it says your device is now stacked and unrooted. And now your Galaxy Nexus is rebooting onto the official 4.1.2 stack Jelly Beam and your Galaxy X GSM. So like the title read, it's, it, it brings your phone back to 100% stack and it also unroots it. Now, if you're gonna be sending it back to a manufacturer, make sure you make sure you actually. Uh, oh, sorry about that, guys. But make sure you uh, also lock the bootloader so they won't find out anything. So as you can see right here, it is still booting up. My phone is still booting up. When your phone does finish booting up, press Enter to relock bootloader. So I'm gonna wait till my phone does finish booting up, and then we will also relock the bootloader. Only lock the bootloader if you're gonna be sending it back to a manufacturer. If you're gonna be rooting this phone once again, then um. Don't even relock the bootloader because you're going to have to unlock it to root your phone and install custom RAMs, clock remote recovery and all that good stuff. So we open system booting up. Okay, my phone has finished booting up. As you can see, it gives me all the uh, language and all that. So if you're planning on uh, uh, locking your bootloader and sending it back to the manufacturer with the official 4.1.2 update for your Galaxy Nexus GSM, you're going to have to turn USB debugging. So make sure you go through this whole setup. And then turn on USB debugging. So I'll be set. I'll set this up, and I'll be right back. So let's go into settings, and turn on USB debugging. So I'll go down to develop options once again, 
and turn this on and okay and make sure USB debugging is check marked so that is check marked okay once you got that done we're gonna lock the bootloader only do this process if you want to lock the bootloader and you're gonna send it back to the manufacturer if you're not then you have nothing to worry about so as you can see make sure USB debugging is uh, on and your phone is still connected to your computer just press enter and now as you can see on your phone it's gonna enter into uh, bootloader mode and it's gonna it's gonna um, lock that so as you can see right there now it says locked it was just red now it turned to white and it says locked so now your bootloader is locked and your uh, once it focuses as you can see all done don't forget to check my website and my youtube channel thanks guys that's how you install the official 4.1.2 and your galaxy and it says gsm galaxy uh, yeah, and your gsm only do not try this on verizon or sprint i do want to show you that i'm on the official 4.1.2 so let's go into settings and about device to show you so let's go into settings um about phone and there you go as you can see you're on the official android 4.1.2 Official, you can check out the baseband kernel as well and build number. So that's how you install it on your Mac computer. If you're interested in how to do it on Windows, please check out that guide. Do not try this on Windows. You're going to mess up your whole phone. Thanks for watching, guys. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you already have it and give me a big old thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Enjoy Galaxy Nexus on the official 4.1.2, the official and the latest version. Yep. Yeah.